Hey what is going on you guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be showing you guys how to get a refined ethereum crystal schematic now this is one of the most wanted schematic because a lot of people cannot get the pocket punch level 3 which is a flawless ethereum crystal the reason why is because that one you have to fight the worm and a lot of people have not got that far especially the people that just get in the game as you can see we do have the flawless ethereum schematic we do have the crystal so we can pocket punch all the way to level 3 right off the back now what we're going to do right now we're going to go ahead and farm it for you guys we're going to show you guys the easiest way to actually get it now obviously we're going to be doing some contracts here in the level three zone now there is one specific contract i like to do here and that's because the delivery cargo contract is not longer like really op now that one used to show up a lot more often than now like now you can go ahead and look at the map every time you go to the red zone and nine out of ten it might not be there you gotta wait until you rotate or you gotta go ahead and cancel some of the contracts before that one can show up so i like to do the most consistent one which is the weapon case and the outlast contract now before you come to the red zone i recommend you guys coming in here absolutely op pretty much pocket punch to level three so do some contracts I'm sure you guys have an epic tool or legendary tool at least because that's the only way you can actually make it easy if not you're going to be working a little extra hard still it's still possible to do it but you're not going to be doing a lot of damage also i recommend actually having enough perks you can actually use the ones that i have on the screen right now those are the recommended ones just because this ones are going to keep your life and it's going to make you op so there's multiple ways to actually farm for this schematic uh you can do infested stronghold i got mine by doing the mega abomination but today we're going to be doing the fastest contract just because this one is very quick you guys so basically if you climb right here and uh you glide all the way down there you're going to see the outlast contract you can actually land right in front of it this is the quickest way to actually get there you're going to go ahead and grab it and you're going to go ahead and make your way back exactly where we just came from which is right there now how quick and easy is that you guys because the mega abomination or any other bounty sometimes you got to go across the map just to actually go find it and uh if you don't highlight the scores or anything like that they can shoot you to the sky you pretty much gonna have to run and you know do the all way basically survive but uh anyway Right here, you don't really have to mess with all these zombies. I do recommend having a sentry gun. I think I made a video a while ago by doing the weapon case and doing the allies contract. I like putting a sentry gun right here by the door before I activate it. Just because this sentry gun is going to give you some cover against the zombies that are going to be coming in. Now, another thing you want to do is climb right here either, either side. It doesn't really matter what side you climb. And uh, just stand right here. And every time the zombies come, try to climb up. Just shoot him that's why i say it's very important to how your weapon pack a punch to level three and have a legendary tool because you can actually destroy them really quick depending on what weapon you use um epic tool works as well but legendary the reason i'm saying legendary or orange weapon just because you're going to be able to just make it easy the whole point of doing this fast and easy is to actually farm for this stuff now if you don't get the drop on the first on the first try go ahead and do the weapon case and do the bounty and then come back and do this one so the outlast and the weapon case are always going to respawn on the same spot and they're always going to be in an area just like this one you guys where you can just put a central gun and then you can just stand right there wait for the analysis progress to you know fill up and that that's pretty much it that's that's how you farm it so you can see it's very simple very easy so if you guys one of the people that don't have this schematic don't have this you know this this crystal this is one of the best way to farm it now i used to farm this on the level two zone because i did got something on the level two zone but i think i got the raw ethereum crystal it wasn't the refined i think the refined you had to get it on the three zone so if you guys want to get the pocket punch level two definitely do this one and uh this is the way to do it at any point you can come down and um as you can see right here collect some loot fill up your ammo and we actually got the refined ethereum crystal schematic you guys i mean it was on the first try i mean as soon as i did this i was like yo i'm gonna go ahead and make a video for y'all because this is not the first time i get this schematic like i, I got this schematic from the weapon case and i got it from this one twice and also i got it from the mega abomination one time which is the first time i actually did it um also if you remember the mega abominations for whatever reason um they usually drop like weapon case and things like that lately i i, I haven't really seen any weapon case or anything like that so that's kind of weird i feel like they nerfed it a little bit to be honest 
and uh, this is a bounty right here. Um, put a central gun if you're going to do one of these bounties and pretty much shoot them in the head because you're going to be doing that critical hit damage, especially if you had a perk. And then that's pretty much it. You can actually eliminate these bounties fast and easy. So like I said, the order is Outlast, Weapon Stash, and then the bounty. Delivery Cargo, definitely you want to do that one. The only problem is that sometimes it doesn't show up. Also, if you do the Delivery Cargo, to me, it feel like it got nerfed. Like, I don't know. That's just my feeling. That's my opinion. I mean, we haven't got any reports saying that it did. But I just really got anything... I haven't really got anything special from the delivery cargo. Sigils, uh, rare tools, um, backpacks, you know, that, that's pretty much it. So, I don't know, man. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And we'll see you guys next time.